Alright guys, welcome to your 50th Objective-C tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you that one last thing about the define statement that I didn't have time to do in the last tutorial, and I'm also going to be teaching you about the import statement, but trust me, it's super easy. Actually, here's an import statement right here, so you know, you already know a t little tidbit, but anyways, what I wanted to talk about in the define last tutorial is that you can also pass in arguments to your definition. So for example, if you wanted to check if a number was even, what you would do is you would pass in an argument such as x. And then when you make your expression, you would put like something like x modulus 2. This means x divided what's the remainder of x divided by 2? If it's exactly equal to 0, then you know it's even. So you're saying, "All right, so how exactly would you use this?" you would do something like if even and then as x you would pass in something like 15 so we know that's odd so what this would do is it would say alright 15 divided by 2 exactly equal to 0 and so now you just have to make your ns log so if it's exactly equal to 0 just go ahead and put like it's even but this is going to be equal to 1 since 15 divided by 2 was the remainder. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. It's 1. So let's go ahead and make a simple else. And I can't even remember if I taught you guys about if else or not. But ns log, it's odd. So let's go ahead and run this a couple times and make sure it works. 15 we know that one's odd and let's go ahead and try something like uh, 24 we know that's even so let's go ahead and build and run that and it's even so what this does is anytime it comes across even with a parameter after it such as in this case it takes this expression right here and it substitutes it and as that parameter x it fills it in just like that so this is the code that your computer sees after it's done processing everything pretty much replacing it for you so that's the last thing I want to talk about in the define and now let's move into well, something similar but you know a little bit different objective C gave you a really easy way to put all your defines in one location like if we put all of them in every program we built define this and then I want to define that it get kind of annoying I mean it's the same defines over and over again so what we can do is something really easy check this out right click source or uh, you know Apple click whatever it's called I set my mouse up to right click but add new file and then go ahead and get the default file and just name this something like crap it doesn't really matter what you name it what we're looking for is that crap header file crap header file But anyways get rid of well pretty much get rid of everything make sure you're in your header file see crap.h get rid of everything now the only thing you type into your header file I mean not even any imports or anything just write all your definitions right in here so define bacon as you know 23 and define uh, toast as you know 44 so now we should get what 67 when we add them together so let's check this out we got a header file but the only thing in it is the find statements so you're saying alright so how the heck am I actually supposed to put this to use of any sorts well instead of writing all your defined statements up here all you can do is put one import and then go ahead and import that header file and it'll pretty much replace this with all your defined statements but say if you had 30 defined statements you don't want to write that you just want to write one simple little syntax and this brings me to another point you see the difference between this import and this import aside from the fact that this one has an awesome name is these uh, little less than and greater than signs in quotation marks now check this out anytime you're working in the same directory which pretty much means the same file if you uh, if you're like a Windows fan they might be called files in Mac I don't know um 
you're allowed to use quotation marks. So say for example, our Bucky test main method is in the same file as our crap header. But you see, you don't see foundation in here at all. So that's why you need to use the less than and greater than signs. But you can't go ahead and put your um, header files just like on your desktop or anything. Um, it automatically searches systematically. It's like a special algorithm, the special places that you can put them. But anyways, just for simplicity, always put it in the same directory. And you won't mess up if you write uh, right click source add new file it would always appear where you want it to so that's pretty much the background to that quotation marks it's in the same file or directory so anyways now that we imported crap h we imported bacon and toast but we did it a lot easier now we can do something like x equals bacon plus toast just to see if it works now let's go ahead and ns log it out on the screen, you know, you gotta make sure this baby works because this is one fine program we got here. Percent I, and I forgot what it was supposed to equal. And, well, we'll see in a second if we don't get any errors. 67, there it was right there. So, what it did is import crap H, took all your defined statements, and imported them into your main program, buckytest.m. And then what it did is it replaced bacon with, uh, let's see, 23, toast with 44, added them both together, got 67, and then printed out, well, you know what NSLog does, just print out 67 right there. So in this tutorial, what exactly do we learn? We learned that we can pass arguments into define statements, and we actually, I didn't mean actually, I meant to say also, learn how to import a bunch of crap instead of typing a bunch of defined statements. Oh, and we also learned the difference between quotation marks in these little brackets. So, you know, pretty informative tutorial. I pat myself on the back for that. So thank you guys for watching. I guess if you want, I can go ahead and copy the source code and post it in the link below. Yeah, I'll do that right now. So, uh, yeah, like I said, if you want any of the source code, click on the link below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys later.